Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs first appeared, all the land was connected in one huge supercontinent known as Pangaea. But over the ages, Pangaea broke up into two giant land masses, one in the north and one in the south. Probably around 100 million years ago, South America became separated. And then the fauna, the dinosaurs, the mammals, and the rest of the fauna and flora start to evolve in the separate way, in different ways, different forms. After the continent split, different dinosaurs evolved on each continent. While throughout the northern continents, the giant longnecks died out, down south, something extraordinary was happening. Here, the huge longnecks not only survived, they just kept growing bigger and bigger. About 90 million years ago, uh, there were not such animals this big in, other, in any other part of the world but in South America. These four-legged plant eaters, like Argentinosaurus, are a typical South American kind of dinosaur. In this Cretaceous period, they were highly successful in the Southern Hemisphere. But it wasn't just the long-necked plant eaters that were different on the isolated continent of South America. Sealed off from the rest of the world, the vicious tyrannosaurs never reached here. In fact, in the time of the long-neck Argentinosaurus, scientists could find no trace of any large meat eaters stalking the continent. But all that was about to change. A few years after the discovery of Argentinosaurus, Rodolfo and his team started exploring a new fossil location near Plaza Huinca. Little did they realize what a fearsome creature they would uncover. Buried for 95 million years, a new monster began to emerge from its rocky grave. When they put the bones together, they found they had uncovered their second record-breaking dinosaur. This was a truly astonishing find. They'd found another giant, but this wasn't a long-necked plant eater. It was the skeleton of the biggest meat-eating dinosaur that ever lived. It was a completely new species of animal, unrelated to the tyrannosaurs, and it was huge. The first giant carnivore ever discovered in South America. They called it Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus is perhaps 10 to 15 percent more massive and longer than Tyrannosaurus rex, which for a long time was the record holder. Giganotosaurus was an incredible animal, uh, around um, 13 meters in length. And the head was huge, around uh, 1 meters and 80 centimeters. Giganotosaurus had a skull the length of a man. But this giant predator had one more thing to reveal. When the team dated the bones, they found that Giganotosaurus lived in the Cretaceous, the time of the giant longneck Argentinosaurus, and the two dinosaurs were found only 80 kilometers apart. For the first time anywhere in the world, scientists had discovered mega carnivores and huge plant eaters living during the same time period and in the same place. This is a peculiar ecological relationship that we, were, that we found in, in Patagonia. Big prey and big predators. If we look at South America in the age of Giganotosaurus, the main potential prey for this immense meat eater is an even more immense plant eater, the giant Argentinosaurus. Could it be true that in Patagonia something unique happened? that the largest plant eater ever to walk the earth came face to face with the largest known meat eater in an extraordinary clash of the titans. Could this really ever have happened? 
As paleontologists considered the idea of such an epic battle, they immediately saw a problem. The giant meat-eater, Giganotosaurus, may have been large, but he was still no match for Argentinosaurus. There was no way even this big meat-eater would have been able to kill such a huge animal. No way, that is, unless Giganotosaurus did what many other predators do when faced with a much bigger prey. For these hyenas, Hunting together is the only way they can bring down this wildebeest. Could this have been what the Clash of Titans was really like? Not with two solitary dinosaurs battling it out by themselves, but with a pack of marauding Giganotosaurus hunting one enormous Argentinosaurus.